Right, right. Thank you very much for joining. Uh, this is Teacher Elias Wachero. Welcome. This is Social Studies. And the last time I did a video on uh, human evolution, I covered what fossils are. I, just, uh, I covered what fossil records are. And today, we are still in the same, same grade. We are covering uh, importance of fossil records. Remember what I said? What did you say? Uh, what did you say fossils are? He said fossils are the preserved remains of uh, human beings that are pre actually preserved for the purpose of study. Preserved remains of human beings or even animals. Now, today I want us to look at the uh, uh, importance of fossil records. And the first importance is, uh, is that fossil records provide evidence on how animals and plants adapted to their environment. Provides evidence on how animals and plants adapted to the environment. Remember I discussed, uh, I explained last time the processes of evolution. We said there's a process called mutation, there's a process called uh, adoption, there's a process called natural selection. Now, how did animals uh, evolve and adapt to their environment? How can we find that? You can only find that when we look at the fossil records. Number two, it helps to establish evolutionary relationship between organisms and their ancestors. When you look at a, a fossil, actually, when you look at a fossil record or when you are study, studying a particular organism, you'll be able to know through fossil records that this organism evolved from this ancestor. So you'll be able to actually relate, you'll be able to see that some features that maybe a certain uh, organism had its ancestor head and this organism is not doing what is not having now the uh, the features that it has now. Then you have it, uh, fossil records also establishes the uh, time, uh, time period in which organisms live, the time period in which organism, organisms live. For example, I told you that when you'll be looking at these uh, organisms and the fossils and this evolution, you'll discover you use terms like that this organism lived 30 million years ago or even 150,000 years ago. How did uh, the scientists uh, reach into that? They reached that because they studied, they studied the fossil records which helped them to uh, establish the time period in which particular organisms or those organisms existed. Then we have uh, helped to understand the social, political and economic life of man over years. Fossil records helps us to understand the social, political and economic life of a man over years. For social, for example, did they have something to do with clans? Because you know that all these uh, these animals used to live in caves. So did they have clans? Did they uh, they organize into families? Then after that, how about their political life? Were they did they have a leader in those families? So fossil records will help us to understand if they had leaders. Then their economic activities, were they doing fishing, were they doing agriculture, were they doing hunting, through fossil records we'll be able to understand such things. Then fossil records also give us information on the culture of humans, clothing, foods and beliefs in the past. They give us information on the culture of humans, clothing, food and beliefs in the past. When you talk of culture, when you study fossil records, you'll be able to understand, uh, for example, there's a certain community that used to bury their people with their properties. So such fossils, when they are studied, when they are studied, scientists are able to, or, or other people who are uh, doing this evolution, uh, they are able to say that this particular people used to believe uh, in life after death because they buried uh, their, their, their people, their people with their belongings, believing that they live, they'll have life after death. That is their culture. Then their clothing, the food and beliefs in the past. Then fossil records also gives us information on the economic activities such as uh, the animals they hunted, the crops they cultivated, or maybe even uh, even fishing. Then fossil records also gives us information on the type and uses of tools and other materials used by humans. For example, this uh, discovery of uh, Achillean tools, or rather someone would say, someone would call those tools Achillean tools. Sometimes black people used to use sticks. From sticks we moved to maybe discovery of iron and all those other things. So fossil records will be able to show, uh, will be able to tell that these people maybe used to use sticks when they were digging. 
then they, they later discovered iron then they started making jembes and gloves so we are only able to identify that only when we study the fossil records then through the study of fossil records it gives us it gives us information on the type and uses of tools i've said that then lastly fossil records provide evidence of africa being the cradle of humanity when you say africa as the cradle of humanity it means then through the fossil records if most of these fossils of course they are discovered in africa we can conclude that africa is the indeed uh, it is the indeed cradle of humanity so stick around for my next video i'll be talking about i'll be actually handling and uh, looking at why africa is uh, regarded as the cradle of human of humanity so why africa is the homeland of humanity why africa is the home of humanity so that is the, my next video that i'll be covering so stick around if this is your first time uh, discovering this channel tell a friend to tell a friend subscribe and do all those other things and you know what when you subscribe and your friend again tells another friend to subscribe very soon you'll have a class of friends learning together so thank you very much stick around because uh, my next video i'll be handling uh, why africa is regarded to as the cradle of humanity thank you very much take care of yourself don't do something you did be proud you will not you will not be proud to tell uh, you are guardian take care of yourself see you again in my next video have a have a nice time